Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier and this is The Piracy Show. And today we're looking at the question of where to pirate from, where to base yourself. Now currently, Grim Hex is kind of the default. And there's a couple of reasons for that. I mean, you can base out of Levski, but Levski is kind of a problematic landing area that isn't always working right now. Grim Hex tends to be the smoother load up, the easier to get into the game place to land from or to base yourself from. So for a lot of pirates, it becomes the default. The problem with Grim Hex though, is it doesn't really take anything bigger than a Connie. So for instance, my pirate caterpillar doesn't work from Grim Hex. And that kind of creates a bit of an issue. Now, it might seem like kind of a mundane thing, but truthfully, oh, look at the cockpit view from this cutlass without all the panels. I know, I know, I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this isn't that video. Um, but yeah, I mean, when you're thinking about where you're gonna stage all your ships or what ships that you're gonna buy, you have to kind of consider flexibility in where you can deploy from. and. Grim Hex might get changes in the future. Obviously, Alasar is getting changes, but Alasar is also a temporary fixture. Grim Hex might be the way Grim Hex is, so there might not be changes. And so you might have to stage some of your equipment somewhere else, especially if you're a pirate. I mean, that's definitely something that you have to consider. And that's why, you know, you see ships like the Buccaneer and the Cutlass doing so well amongst pirate players is because they are ultimately flexible in where you can operate them from. I mean, they're pretty much two of the smaller size of sh smaller size of ships rather. And so it's easier to kind of operate them from a multitude of locations. And also, I mean, if you were to build a pirate base, then, you know, that upfront cost probably wouldn't be as much if you were just operating ships like that on account of the facilities they would require would not be all that great. I don't necessarily think that it's a bad idea for a pirate to say, oh, I'm going to go out and get the bigger ship. Clearly, I'm one of the people who has done it. But you do have to consider that that is going to come with a bit of a logistical cost because you might have to store that someplace separate from your sort of I almost want to use the term everyday carry, your everyday ship. You know, it, there's a lot of little minor inconveniences in the Star Citizen universe. As you can see, I'm dealing with them now. Of course, my Caterpillar or my Cutlass is broken. My Caterpillar is over at Alasar. So is my Buccaneer. So I and I also have Crime Stat rating. So I'm going to go. I'm going to get rid of the Crime Stat rating. I'm going to have to do all these very real things just to you know, eventually go grab my Buccaneer and bring it back to Grim Hex. Now, I could fly straight to Alasar, but why not two birds with one stone? I'll handle two things, and since, you know, the Herald is broken, no big deal. But as I'm kind of going through these steps, it kind of illustrates the point that in, in the real universe, real in, you know, quotations, there's going to be logistical difficulties that you're going to have to overcome. And if all of a sudden I were to get a message and it said, Hey, dude, listen, we need a Caterpillar here right now because something crashed and we're getting all this cargo. You should bring your Caterpillar with the tractor beams and boop, 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 boop. We could, we could make a whole lot of money. And I'm like, dude, oh, man, I got to go. I got to lower crime stat. I got to go to all this. I got to pick up my Caterpillar. I got to go do this. I got to do the other thing. You know, th these are things that you will really have to consider because that affects your flexibility. Like, to a certain degree, having the pirate caterpillar is a cool thing, but it does it does come with a certain tax on my flexibility because I can't just bring up my caterpillar whenever I want it, especially because I live at Grim Hex. I have to deal with uh, jumping through a hue, a, a hue, a few hoops to get it, and that can be a problem. You know, once or twice, not a big deal, but day in and day out that can be something that kind of exhausts you and something that kind of like starts to grate on you after a while is always having to go and get the caterpillar. Now I could move things over to Levski, but obviously the reclaimer is going to have a massive problem parking at Levski. I doubt I can just leave a reclaimer outside and just say, oh, well, I'm sure everything will be fine after I log off. 
probably not going to work. Another factor that you have to consider is how you behave in the universe itself. It may not seem like it's related, but if you're out there and you're just attacking anything that moves and you're just KOS everybody, it doesn't matter, you might find that that begins to become a bit of a limitation as to where you can live. And even if you were to operate your own base, that base becomes a physical permanent space within the universe. And even if you're not there, someone who has a bone to pick with you might find out where your base is and that can be a bit of a problem for you when you log in and find out that your base is probably no longer there there's a lot of things to consider and so where you live and where you operate from and how you operate these kind of become really important things to sit there and ask and now i know that there's a lot of people who will tell you oh don't worry i'm gonna be a hero i'm gonna waste everybody i'm gonna be a badass and no one's gonna mess with me blah blah blah, blah. blah, 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 blah. but the truth is, is that really a, like a practical way of looking at how you're going to live in the universe? You have to kind of consider these things and say, hey, you know what? You know, it sounds good on paper, but realistically, day in, day out in the Star Citizen universe, that may not be the best way to go about things. And maybe it's a little bit better to be covert rather than overt. You know what I'm saying? If players in your area, wherever you plan to set up shop in the Star Citizen universe, if the law-abiding players kind of look at you as not really like a pirate and not really like, an, oh my god, I hate that guy and I hope somebody kills him, you know. But if players look at you and they start thinking, you know, oh, that dude, he's up to his shenanigans again and they're just like giving you a wink and a nod and sending you on your way, that can kind of give you a lot more flexibility as to where you base out of because chances are you're probably not going to encounter all that many problems with those players. And who knows, they may help you out from time to time like, hey, I'm not saying anything, but I saw, you know, a fully loaded NPC caterpillar loading up gold at, uh, you know, R Corp Mining 141 down on Yella. And someone might want to take advantage of that. I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Now, of course, in the current state of the game, the landing areas that we do have being all us are Grim Hex and Levski are hardly indicative of the landing areas that we're going to get in the future. And there's probably going to be quite some substantial uh, Tortugas, if you will, in the future for places where pirates can base much larger ships out of. But that is something that's down the road. That is something that is as of yet unseen. So we don't really know for sure. So it's a good idea to kind of have a little flexibility in your plan as to where you think that you're going to base out of and what ships you're going to base where and maybe govern your behavior to a certain degree to make that a little bit easier for yourself so that when you get in the game you can get in the game and do what you want to do and spend less time doing all the housekeeping now you may look at grim hex and say oh well grim hex that's that's it that's my jam i love that place it's so great it's got the perfect atmosphere which it does which it does grim hex has an amazing atmosphere and it is an awesome place to live but it's also a known location so if you're out there you know creating all kinds of ill will and you're living out of grim hex it's probably not going to be all that hard to track you down and at the very least interfere with your day in day out so when you kind of sit there and you look at your ships and you think oh i've got this ship i got that ship and i've got the other ship and i, I can base all these out of uh Grim Hex, and then these other ones, these bigger ones, I can keep them at Levski, or I can keep them at Olisar. Remember that when you need them, you might come into a situation where you're like, oh man, I do need that Reclaimer, but uh, that means I have to go lower my crime stat rating, and then I gotta go to Olisar and pick it up. People are gonna see me, it might not be a good thing. So when you're thinking about where you wanna live, you know, how you behave in the universe towards other players, might have an influence on that as well so those are things worth considering 
Now, going into the future, of course, we're supposed to get Spider and these big pirate bases, but for the time being, the universe being as limited as it is, and in the near future, I mean over the next year, two years, we're probably not going to see all that much great expansion in terms of the universe itself. I mean, obviously, billions of square kilometers, whatever, but in terms of places to live and places to land and refuel and repair and log out, your choices probably aren't going to be all that vast compared to a place like EVE Online or Elite Dangerous. So it's worth considering that if you have a lot of ships and you have a lot of thing, a lot of pieces to your, you know, to your game set, a lot of cards in your deck, you may want to uh, govern your behavior in a certain way, at least until, let's say, the environment is more conducive to how you really want to play. Another thing to consider as well is, depending on your behavior in the universe and where you're based out of, let's say Grim Hex, if your behavior is causing a lot of players to hang around Grim Hex looking to uh, catch up with you or take you out, other pirates may not uh, react all that well to that level of attention and they might look at you as more of a liability than an asset. And that could be something that could cause you problems in the future. So it's something worth considering. But you know what, that's just a few things to consider when you're picking where to live or where you plan to live in the future. Just some things that uh, may come into play in that future. Anyways, that's the show for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Watching. Uh, if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest stuff, please follow, please follow, please follow us on our Facebook channel.